All right, guys, so we're going to do a bit of an experiment today. Um, and the experiment is to try to see what I can do to reduce uh, the uh, how hot these flexible solar panels that I'm going to use on Truck Camper 9.0 get. Um, and also, if if I can kind of help reduce how much energy or how much heat is actually being transferred into the camper. So... Um, these are the Bouge RV SIGs solar panels. They're a big, long, flexible panel. I used these on my previous camper, so 8.0. I really liked them, and what I did in that case was, so this is the roof, this is quarter-inch ply. Uh, obviously, uh, this does not have the coating on it, um, but on 8.0, I just used the adhesive back that these come with. And stuck the panels directly to the roof over the coating that was on there, of course. Um, for this one, I, and where hence the experiment comes in, is I want to try three scenarios to see if I can reduce the heat of the solar panel. Now, I'm sure you guys can imagine reducing the heat of the solar panel and the heat transferred in the camper has some big advantages. One, Traditionally, if you keep the solar panel cooler, it functions more efficiently and lasts longer. And then two, if you can reduce the heat transfer in the camper, particularly in, you know, warm summer months, it can help, you know, keep the camper cool inside. So both things that you would want to do. So what I did here is I created three situations. This is just quarter inch ply. So this is samples of the exact size material that's used for the roof in both camper 8.0 and 9.0. So I am going to use that singular panel and I'm going to mount uh, just with some clamps uh, this piece directly to the panel and then a short distance away I'm going to mount this piece. So what this represents is this would be the inside portion of the roof, this would be the exterior portion, and here are two quarter inch standoffs, so you guys can see right here. Okay, so if this was a cross-section of the roof, um, this is a, the width of the adhesive panel. So the adhesive panel will stick, still stick on here, but there will be a small air gap down here. Now, uh, this right here is some foil tape. It's used um, in areas where there's heat. I think it's meant for, like, furnaces and stuff. Um, I put this flat part down so the solar panel would sit on top of here. And then this one is just the quarter inch plywood standoffs um, and basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach these to the panel we're going to go stick them out the sun and then I'm going to take measurements on the top of the panel and then on the bottom here which would be kind of like the inside of the camper as an analog for this experiment to see if any of these three scenarios fare better at staying cooler all right our test apparatus has now been out in the sun about 45 minutes. All right, so let's measure. One forty seven. One forty seven. So one forty. One thirty nine. One thirty, one thirty one. Let's do this again. One thirty eight, one thirty five. This is a foil backed one again. One thirty, and then we're just going to go to the one that's sitting directly against one forty six. So the lesson is the inside portion between with the standoff, no foil, is uh, on average about 10 degrees cooler. And the one with the foil, look at that, 127. That's a 20 degree difference at the highs. 127 again is cooler on the inside, but notably warmer on the inside at 126 sorry i guess i'm just taking a bunch of measurements 133 
145. So even that quarter inch standoff is definitely making is definitely making a difference here. By about 10 degrees and with the foil it's uh almost almost a 20 degree difference. But the difference is is the foil one the outside temp of the panel is definitely quite a bit warmer. Let's break out a thermal camera and take a look so at this. Here we are looking through the thermal camera. So this is the panel with the foil. Remember the light color is hotter and you can see that it's dark, which is gonna be cooler right in the middle which is distinctly different. This is the one with the standoff, but no foil. And then this one is just against the solar panel. So another interesting observation is, so I measured right here on the edge because on the ones that have the standoff, it's essentially material against material, right? So it'd be very equivalent to this, but just two layers. So if I measure right here on the edge, 136, this is the single piece, 143. So it's still 10 degrees cooler, 132. So 123, 133, 10 degree difference, and 144. So that foil, which is that far left one over there, really makes a difference. The downside though is the solar panel surface is definitely hotter. So it's a pretty interesting finding. All right, guys. So what are some takeaways from this test? Um, yes, you know, this is just kind of a backyard ad hoc experimentation. I'm sure, um, you know, somebody could find some flaws in it. However, the results were notable enough to where I think we can make some conclusions. And that conclusion is this, that having even just a quarter inch standoff between the roof material of the camper and the solar panel uh, reduces the temperature transferred from the solar panel to that roof material by about 10 degrees on average. Um, and however, the exterior temperature of that solar panel section goes up by five plus degrees. Now, in that air gap, if you incorporate a piece of foil, um, uh, a thermal foil, probably I'm guessing similar to the kind of foil that you would see like on a panel of EPS insulation, a thermal barrier essentially, even with only a quarter inch air gap, it reduced the temperature on the inside portion of what would be the roof by 20 degrees between the difference of the one with foil to the one that was laid flat on the roof material. And the one with the air gap was a reduction of about 10 degrees. So those are some pretty notable differences. We're not just talking about a few degrees. Now, the downside, though, of the one of the air gap with the foil is it did raise the exterior temperature of the solar panel on average, again, uh, about 15, 10 or 15 degrees above just the panel laying flat on it. So some give and take. Um, but uh, interesting result. And uh, it surprised me a little bit. I kind of thought with the small panels that we were using, that the heat would distribute enough to where um, maybe it may not make a difference, but clearly it does seem to make a difference. So, um, all right, guys, thanks for watching me. Uh, <laughs> thanks for watching. If you're new here, subscribe and uh, let me know what you think.